the hell out of me oh my god it's raining i want y'all to see my santa claus but here i'm going back in the house shot so this is my grandma's christmas tree she just wasn't feeling it this year she didn't feel like doing this huge big thing <laughs> ah it's pretty though it's just so freaking tiny oh she did pictures that's so cute definitely in the christmas spirit we always celebrate Christmas at my mom's house. Um, I've been living at my grandmother's house since I've been back in town, but just because the vibe is better. Christmas. Why is it blurry? There you are. Let me get a haircut today. Super excited. I know I said I wasn't going to do that anymore, but I'm back in the era, you know? So I'm really into teas now. I've never liked tea because I don't like how it tastes, like hot tea, you know? And so I'm all into my health shit now. And it's really fun to buy different teas. There's tea for everything, like positive energy, stress, constipation. This one is for immune and stress. USDA organic, all that, non-GMO. It's, it's winter time now, it's cold. I like warm beverages and it's cold outside. And so I have not been buying decaf coffee lately. I don't like drinking too much coffee. And I'll do that because it's always oh, cold outside and I don't really like drinking too much hot chocolate. So, tea is a good substitute, you know? I don't like when barbers spread that black shit on like your hairline to make it look more crisp. But anyways, whatever. Because for me, I'm just like, what are you trying to say? Am I balding? Let me know. But anyways, I know I said I wasn't going to go to the barber shop anymore. But I found a barber that I trust. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Um, LA scarred me because, baby, those barbers, I feel like the good barbers were just unaffordable or they were privately working for like a celebrity, you know, exclusively. Because, baby, I went through the worst barbers in LA. I'm convinced that a lot of those guys, like, they watched a YouTube video on how to be a barber. And just was like, I'm a, I'm a barber. And and put themselves on Booksy, the app. And was like, hey, I'm here. So before I end this video, day two of Vlogmas, I just want to have a little closing. By speaking my mind or whatever. OnlyFans. Let me just get to it. OnlyFans. I actually made an OnlyFans account twice. Like two years ago, like during COVID. I deleted them because... I was submitting to, you know, reality shows and I was, you know, modeling and all that stuff in, in California. And I know that having an OnlyFans can hinder you to, you know, get casted for things like that. Because I thought that I was going to get casted for this show. I ain't going to say which one. And I was really close. I was like, you know, doing different interviews and I decided to go a different route because I didn't know the show's game well enough. But um, before that, she was like, you know, they do their background checks and stuff, going through all your social medias and all of that. And she saw that I made a, twi a tweet on Twitter saying, I'm just, I'm going to make an OnlyFans. I'm over this or something like that. And she called me, the casting director called me and was like, do you have an OnlyFans? Because unfortunately we can't cast people that have OnlyFans. And I was like, no, I still did, but I didn't, I didn't use it. It was just out there. But of course, I didn't tell her that. But yeah, so. And I've met like OnlyFans people, models who can't get casted on shows like Love Island and certain like acting gigs in general. So for having an OnlyFans. So like 
I know that if I were to say, screw this struggle and, you know, put my um, classiness, well, no, I ain't gonna say that. I'm not saying that OnlyFans people are not classy, but put certain engraved morals aside and just say, fuck it. And, you know, making OnlyFans, I feel like that will really change your life. Um, I feel like it might put like a label on me and I don't know. Because first of all, dating, I've never been in a relationship. I say that all the time, really, because I'm amazed. And um, I've only been on one real date in my entire life. <laughs> so I feel like as soon as I start an OnlyFans business, that's when I'll run into my soulmate. You know how life is, right? So I'm just like, I ain't got time. And not everyone is very accepting. And who cares, you know? Because as a, a sexually fluid individual or bisexual, whatever you want to call it, I would be doing like sexually fluid bisexual content. And when I go for something, I go all the way. I'm a very passionate, ambitious person. So I would be traveling and collaborating with other OnlyFans models, you know, and posting all the time and all of that. And it would be become my thing. You know, I networked enough in California to collab with the real deals. And I feel like I would be very successful at OnlyFans. <laughs> but again, I just don't know if I would regret it, which is why I haven't done it. And which is why I made and deleted two OnlyFans accounts. And another question I ask myself is, would I date an OnlyFans model? I don't know. I like to think I would. I'm not a judgmental person. But the problem for me, if well, I don't know. I don't know. The problem for me wouldn't necessarily be, well, I certainly wouldn't judge you because you have an OnlyFans, you know, at all. But I would have a problem with you sleeping with other people, even if it is like for work, not out of jealousy, but I'm just a monogamous person. I'm, I mean, now if we have some kind of polyamorous open relationship then that's different but if i see if i see you differently and i want you all to myself then that's just that but for me the main thing would be uh the fear of catching like stds stis you know whatever because i know that only fans creators they do like the um the the tests and screenings you know for safety I'm sure that the person that I'm dating would be, be doing the same thing. However, I do know that accidents happen. People still sometimes catch diseases and I'm not trying to catch that. You know what I mean? Also too, like I would be paranoid and I wouldn't, yeah, I'd be afraid of like catching something and therefore the paranoia isn't worth it. That would just mean that I don't trust you. Therefore, we shouldn't be together, you know? Like, I can't be with someone that I don't trust. That's my rant, child. I've been thinking about making an OnlyFans, and I still am. <laughs> I've been watching, like, YouTube videos on, like, people who have an OnlyFans and the pros and cons. Um, what do you think? Should I make an OnlyFans? Would you subscribe? Comment down below. Day two Vlogmas. I'm going to go get in the shower, do a little nighttime workout. Make some tea, lay down, and watch Netflix's Castlevania Nocturne, and stay tuned for day three. Mm -hmm.